Hi, my name's Blanquita, and you're watching Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. I gotta make sure that my I'm on sh I'm on you're fleek. on fleek. All right, here we go, guys. You guys ready? Where's the Kevin to count me down? <laughs> Damn, the, the Kevin, Kevin is I not here. He's turned into De Mitchell. He's on his phone. All right, here we go. <coughs> here we go. Ready? <laughs> Greetings, toy tubers, and welcome to Toy Geeks Behind the Counter, your weekly fix of everything art, artist, event, designer, toys, vinyl, toys, plush, pop, and more. <laughs> <laughs> That's my gig. <laughs> I am Jack Ventura. I am Ben Goretzky. Jack Muramatsu. And this is Behind the Counter. <laughs> you do, you're doing a lot better. Uh, you do do it a lot better. I broke my thumb. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I cut it. But you should see the other guy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Because I got into a fight. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, so remember, people, we're on episode five. Yes. We're we celebrating the artist of the month. Woohoo! RX7! There you go. Uh, very cool stuff. He's uh, he's really a toy customizer. He is. But um, excellent. But an artist is an artist. An artist we is an artist. Celebrate because he was nominated, and yeah. you can nominate your favorite artist too. A to lot be of artists of the month. A lot of customizers have become toy makers themselves. You For know, sure. Do like Doc A and Quicks and all those guys. Yeah. All right. Putting me on the spot. Uh, but Doc A for sure. That, yeah. you, He's this a great whole example. show is a spot. What are you talking about putting you on the spot? <laughs> How many spots are there? <laughs> a lot. <yeah. laughs> anyway. Um, you still need to send us a cold open. You can always be part of the show. Just like the one that you saw in the Just beginning. Just like here. the one that you saw in the beginning. That's <sighs> good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. And uh, all you got to do is say, hey, this is so and so, and you're watching Toy Geeks behind the counter, and do something funny or something serious or whatever you want, and just send it in to us to info at toygeeks. And get your 10 seconds of fame. Get your 10 seconds of That's fame. All. That's all you get. <laughs> um, take a picture of how you watch this show on, a, a, and then put it on your Instagram, and we will. Regram it and put you on the show as well. What else is there? I think that's pretty much it. That's it? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for joining us, guys. You can see us next. Well, we want to talk about toys. Six. This is a toy show. We oh, talk about okay. Toys. So this is a whole whole episode we're doing that. And rumor yeah. has it and we have right. a guest. We have a guest. And that's right. Who is it? Matt Gondek, everyone. Yay! Let's bring him in. Take off your shirt! Uh, no, no, no. Right. So. Be quiet. Oh, no, no more shirt All taking right. off. Now, how, how are, are you, doing? sir? How are you doing? I did not expect any of everything Welcome. you guys have done already. I was, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm fine. You were just walking by, and yeah, we were like, "Hey, you, mic up." Some, some like grown man playing trumpets. I don't know. I think he <laughs> meant, he means like. I, I'm done. I want. Yeah, I, why am I yeah. doing this? <laughs> Very how did they roll me into this? this Wasn't meant as a compliment. No, I don't <laughs> no. think so. Uh, Matt, so how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry to hear about your thumb. That's all right. For those who don't know who you are, can you tell us what you do, why you're here, why uh, all that good stuff? I actually am the artist of the month. My name is Matt Gondek. I'm a deconstructed pop artist. I'm not really the artist of the month. Uh, based around <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> And I'm from Pittsburgh, and uh, that's who I am. Nice, but aside from, I mean, you've you've really like exploded the, <laughs> these past <laughs> like two years. No yeah. pun, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I moved to Los Angeles, and uh, there's just more opportunity here. And I, I came from a small city, and you know I worked there, and everything was fine. But 
being here and seeing all like the greatest artists and seeing their work all the time really pushed myself to try to work harder and kind of worked. Things are going a lot better. So yeah, now, things are good. Uh, speaking of when you got to LA, um, we have a little history with 3D Retro and you because yes. uh, we contacted you luckily early on in your career here in LA. Yeah. And we had an event going on with uh, the good people at Kid Robot and Adult Swim. It was for the show Rick and Morty. And uh, we contacted you and said, hey, we got this uh, wall and we love your stuff and let's do a mural. Well, that's who did the wall. Yeah. Come on. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, here's the wall now. <laughs> And honestly, like a ton of people have been taking pictures of it, Instagramming it, uh, Facebooking. I mean, it's too it's many a, people. It's Sorry. Plus, like they almost owe you money. They do. Owe me it's money. Like, it's <laughs> been I owe Rick and everywhere. Money. <laughs> and um, after the event, the mural made actually the top ten on um, Reddit yes. because of its wow. controversy. Yeah. So, controversy? do you get a lot of that? Do you get a lot of that controversy with you? Because it's <laughs> yes. your. Th like, can you kind of describe to the people that haven't seen your art, even though you've just seen yeah. tons of pictures so of it? Yeah, so imagine a cartoon for eight-year-olds. Uh, I mean, Rick and Morty is a little, like, a little bit older audience, but I, I, do, I do pop culture characters, so a lot of it's comic book characters, cartoon characters. But a lot of older people see it as violent because I basically <gasps> blow their heads up. And it's not really blood. There's no blood. There's no brains, guts. It's just fun, and it's just bright pop, bold colors, and... Like yourself, what happened to you was the the people here in town, they just saw these two, well Rick and Morty, right? So one yeah. was like an eight year old kid. They saw a little boy's head blowing up. And it's it's fun, <laughs> it's not really bad, but they hate it. But that happens to me a lot. Uh, actually, you just had another one where it was like oh massive controversy. So I did, uh, so there's a painting by Pablo Picasso called Guernica. Yep. And I did my own take on it. It's oh it's God. it's 100 feet long. It's like 20 feet high. And uh, me and my boy Frank Zilla went down there to paint it. it. Took us eight days. Like we'd get up, go to this place called Corey's Bagels, get a sandwich, and just paint for eight hours, hungover every day. Wow! It's this <laughs> huge wall, right? And while we were there, the town loved it. But after I left, there's a small little group of old women that think it's violent and think it's harassing the, the town and like the little think of the children because SpongeBob <laughs> is blowing up. And it's like. No, it's just fun. It's just a fun thing. And uh, it happens a lot. So, yeah, a lot of controversy with my stuff. But I guess, you know, no, pre no, press, is, no press is bad press? No, yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, yeah, so it's fine. I mean, you, you're the one that has to deal with it. I pay and leave, and people like you have to, you know. <laughs> yeah. I you did. have to pay the fine to the city. I did. I, did. I had to pay five fines, actually, <laughs> oh, because God. the way the city works here, just a quick rundown, they come out the first time they give you a ticket, which is about, you know, 50 bucks. Come out a second time, it's uh, like 500 bucks. Third time, it's about 1,000 bucks. So by the fifth ticket, you're paying about you know a few thousand dollars. And then they're like, well, you haven't taken it down. Now we're taking you to court. And what happens if I just go outside and just graffiti with spray can and leave? Oh, that's fine. You're that's okay. Fine. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. 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 You should do that to my wall. <laughs> no, no. Please don't. It, no, because it, it happened to Please another wall. Please don't give people <laughs> ideas. It happened to another wall, and I'm like, hey, man, you're going to fix that? No. It's just gonna, and I'm like, did they fine you for that? No. Somebody just came and vandalized. I'm like, how is that okay? What double standard is it? Like, you can't paint an, an organized, paid for, artistic vision. Right. But you can paint whatever the crap you want with a marker Awful on the other graffiti, side. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. You know, even though you had to go through all this stuff, uh, you kind of paved the way for this whole town because after you dealt with my stuff, now Tristan Eaton has one, Nitrous yep. has one. Yep. Yep. You kind of like, so you did kind of set a trend where like, no, these artists are doing something yeah. beneficial to the community. Yeah. Like, honestly, every single day on Instagram, I'm getting tagged, someone's here taking a photo in front of that mural. And I'm sure they're coming in here or at least ruining something around here for you guys. <laughs> so it's good for the town, you know, like... <laughs> Oh. And it's gotten so you know your neighbors even better. That's true. Yes, they love yeah. me they so love much. They love you. They love 3D Retro. Oh, oh the neighbors. And we <sighs> love them. I don't. So, you like toys? They're all right. Now, he, you've uh, oh, he's done no, art. Oh, oh, oh. And actually, you've done vinyl toys. I have. Yes. Oh. I did. I brought some. You did. Yeah. Let's get let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, let's Which one do you want first? Dang. Both at the same time? Dang. Let's or? actually Dang. let's Now, you have you, you have some shows coming up. I do. Where, we can the talk about the shows when we see the toys, because that's where they're coming out. Yeah, let's get, oh, give me a toy. I'm like, uh, this is a toy show. I want to grab a toy. Oh, my God. It's right, a very on. violent Mickey. I'm no, very... Corrupting the youth, right? <laughs> corrupting the All youth. All right, so, so actually, maybe we, maybe we can bring the other one, too. Yeah, try to, sure. Try to the same thing, right? So this thing's called Deconstructive Mouse. 
Uh, this was the original. I don't know. Are we taking these things out of the box? Is that yeah, of course, working? of course. The original colorway, colorway is in the yellow box still, and that came out. I want to say May or June of this year. And that this was through a company called Toy Cube, and uh, this one was online only. So then this is the second version. The the you know, it sold out colorway. instantly. It sold out in like two seconds. And it was like a big deal. Like people were really upset. So we made this one. Uh, this one's black and white. Uh, it comes out March 22nd, but I'm doing a pop-up shop in Hong Kong called Clean Break in Hong Kong Central. That's the first time you'll be able to find this. Great. Uh, there's going to be 300 of them worldwide. <laughs> We're going to do split up. There's going to be a couple online because I didn't want to, like, if you don't live in Hong Kong, how are you going to get this thing unless you go on eBay or something? Right. But uh, the face comes off, so there you go. Because all my so stuff blows truly up. truly... Yeah. It's awesome, man. Thanks. It's such a great toy. Thanks. This is my first vinyl figure ever. And it came out uh, really well. It did Thanks. because, you know, you could see the bone structure really well, and the fact that the you know the skin comes off, and yeah. it's just really well done. Thank and you. I I gotta tell you, I can understand why the and it and the best part is it represents your art. Yeah, it, it's that was totally important. Yeah, so it does um, look like. I can see why it's such a popular figure. I could see why so many people want it. But that's the best part about <laughs> limited vinyl toys is yeah. that they are art pieces. They are limited. They're hard to find. And, uh, you know, if you sometimes... When you do it right. When you do it right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, sometimes you need to go on the secondary market. Yeah. To Move. get it. So, um, but we're going to be doing something special here. Uh -oh. Yeah. What is it? Um, because that this one, as you Original. saw, came out of a brand new box. There it is, this one. And um, it actually um, is one of the figures that 3D Retro was supposed to sell. But we waited until the Matt Gondek nice. showed yeah. up. And Best be him. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, there's a term like waffle it off. It's not really raffle, it's oh. waffle. Oh, yeah. well, we're gonna Lego. We're going to waffle it off because you kind of like just. We're going to have a waffle. Uh, you just buy tickets and then one person's going to get a whole breakfast of this thing. There you just go. One person. You so go. you. Very simple. You, you, buy your, you buy your chance to win for a $5 donation to the show. The link is in the show notes or on our website and stuff like that. You do the or it's right there. You just go there. <laughs> and. Um, and that's it. And you can buy as many entries as you'd like. And then we're going to go ahead and randomly select a winner. Cool. Probably live on Instagram or Facebook oh, or nice. something. And then they just get it shipped to them and that's and it? And that's it. Yeah. The shipping's included. And um, you can literally, you can buy one waffle ticket and um, oh, get the whole a thing. Or 1000 Or 1000 yeah, I okay. don't recommend you do that. Yeah, okay. But, um, you don't? You, yeah, but if you buy one and you win, that's like you win the figure for five bucks. Wow. Shipped True. to you. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. Anywhere in the world? Yeah. Anywhere. That's amazing. So we're going to be doing that, but this is an amazing figure. Thanks. And um, going back to the whole thing, I'm excited to see more of it. And so really the black and white only in Hong Kong? Well, well, he's going to do it online. So, too. yeah, the opening is March 22nd. It's in Hong Kong Central. Uh, it's with my gallery I work with, Avenue Day Arts. Okay. My pop up is called Clean Break. Uh, it's on my Instagram. I think that's going to be here somewhere, like the address. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, so there's 300 Ooh. worldwide. Most of them are going to be at the pop up shop in Hong Kong, but we're going to have save a couple for an online release through the gallery. So, ah. more details about that later. But, yeah, that's it. That's the only way to get this guy. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Well, All what, right. else, what else we got? Let's talk about some toys that are not yours. Oh, okay. Right. What's the uh, point? Uh, what's the point? <laughs> Move this one over you, here. You get to tell us what your thoughts are. Okay. Um, I think we have this one first right here. These are characters that you're familiar with. That's Rick and Morty, right? That is Rick and Morty. <laughs> okay. So these are... There's something wrong with them. They are... I mean, they're like, like all put together, together not like in this show. Okay, so we, we opened up... Th this open. is from Funko. Open. Uh, this is their vinyl, V-Y-N-L, series. Uh. Um, the one that we did the event for, that was Kid Robot, where yeah. they actually made them look like themselves. But we opened up vinyl figures before from Wizard of Oz, if you remember, right, Jack? Yeah. And, Those are um, and these mm. are the They're vinyl ones. Vinyl. They don't stand very well. No, they go. no, they don't. Do we, do we tell the truth how we feel about these? Yes. 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 Why would Please you make you. a toy that doesn't stand up? Thank you. Like, what are you going to do with this? Is it really not? No. It's no. very top heavy. Does the head turn? Because uh, maybe that'll help you. it. Hey, wait a minute. Is it? Wait a minute. Do they come? Do they come with a stand? It no, does not. I didn't see no, it. It's with just stand. a cardboard. It's the. It's cheaply made. It's Is a there holes on the bottom? The arms don't move. There are holes in the bottom. There's holes on the bottom. Check. There's. 
Nothing Wait a minute, where's the, the give me the, where's the plastic? Hmm. You know what you're supposed to do? Can I see the Morty? Maybe you're supposed to display them so they kind of like, like they're like a buddy it's cop awful. drama. <laughs> oh, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what you do. No, this is They're like Lego bodies, is, kind of? I'm telling you, there's the got to be, they there's got to like, be stands in there. There's nothing in the oh, box. hold on. What hold on. The there no. you go. There no. you go. Thank Where? you. Where? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. I take back everything I said about these, then. I don't. I don't All like right. stands. Yeah, this is kind of weird. But I don't like stands either. I just, and still, the, the the stand does. There's no stand for the background either. No, there's no. Not. For fifteen bucks, two figures. It's a yeah. good value. Uh, again, and I tried watching this show, and I just I I got I couldn't even get past one. Rude. You gotta watch like number two. I just I, the burping. I'm just like uh uh like so much burping. So I couldn't get past it. So that's my. So to <laughs> me, like, like I can't say. I can't say if I like the figure or not because I don't know the characters. I'm not familiar with them. Uh, I don't know if I would pay. You see what I'm saying? Whoa, watch you the show, Jack. Come no. on. Come on. Uh, uh, bleh, uh, oh. bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, I don't even like me burping. I burp and I'm like, what have you cool done? If it was like a ball joint and could bend because the neck is so high. The body on this, look at the. Paint's nice. The paint is clean. Do they have face. other toys that shape? Like, is that their thing? That Probably. They're, they're, they're just changing but it up. But you see, man. you liked the Wizard of Oz ones, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't care what they looked like. See, because you're a Wizard of Oz. Exactly, so cut. that's what I'm saying. And the thing is, the Rick and yeah. Morty fans, the reason why we carry these at 3D Retro for 15 bucks. Because if you're a fan, you're going to be like, they yes! They are yeah. hot as shit. Absolutely, That's yeah. what I'm saying. So it's for like, sure. if, if you don't know the show, if you're not a fan, then it's like you can't really judge it. It's like, well, it's a toy. That's a good point. You know, like, so to me, I cannot say anything. They don't care whether it has bases if or whether you, this thing falls over. It's 15 bucks. I really, because it's like, Wizard of Oz, I was like, mine. Boom. Like I didn't even I don't even remember what the toy looked like. Yeah. I have it and it's there. And I'm waiting for them to do that so to me and Back to the Future with these things. Yeah. So like a I mom, can't judge. a mom and her son will come in. The son's crying because he wants the kid robot Rick and Morty figure. She buys these cheap ones and shut them up. That's what these <laughs> are for. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Or you get you get the other ones for yourselves and you get this one for your kid. Yeah. You're like, but I want one like you, Daddy. And you're like, no, quiet. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, what do we got next? Oh, oh, we have this bundle oh, of fire. So, what is so this? we figured you are a big, renowned, famous artist. So we're going to open up some famous <laughs> artist stuff here. I feel like I'm really bad on this because we're, you know I don't like this. Wait. You can't do back <laughs> to second. back two things I don't like. You don't okay. like Andy Warhol? Oh, I love like do you want to switch the order? Andy Warhol. No, I don't. Everything Andy Warhol. He's like, I don't like I it. I like Warhol. I'm from Pittsburgh, so I've done extensive research about Warhol. So this is... Uh, Can you? What, what, what okay, is it? so it. let's let's talk about this. Here, you let open him it. open it. It's like jump so, the shark, kid robot. So <laughs> this is this is. How am I supposed to open this? Just rip it open with my teeth or something? Whoa, sure. No, I mean, well, no, uh, so this is released by Kid Robot. It was actually released by Kid Robot almost hey, a year whoa, ago. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, oh, jeez. Jack, All right. Jack, Jack, Jack. Get it all. Wipe off the dry Thank blood off of it first, man. Hey. Um, put that around me, man. And th this was released <laughs> about a year ago, and this is the Polaroid series. These are just photos. What They're all stuck together. What is this? Are, are you serious? Of the man of Andy Warhol. Yeah, so these are, these are <laughs> Polaroids that Andy Warhol actually took. Dude, these are actually awesome. And these are... <laughs> you don't like this? And these are reproductions of And I don't like that. Andy Warhol. Oh. But these are all... Look at that. What's wrong with these? I don't know, man. Like, why is Kid Robot making freaking... Is it because Kid Robot made it? Yes. Here's, that's what it is. That's what it is. No, no, no. Me. Here's, here's the one... So, here's the thing. Okay. I actually like these. That's fair. Oh, my God. But... It's just my opinion. But I hate the way that they're... But I hate this because... Why? Because Every single awesome. box... The same. Is the same. Is the same. Yeah. What? And for a, for a company that can make blind boxes... And mix up the series and everything. There are no chase photos. Well, there's look, no difference. At least you have the whole collection and you're done. But that's <laughs> awful, especially <laughs> for me, the awful. retailer. Wait, oh, there's, oh, they're just cut poorly. What are you supposed to do with these? You put them on your wall. You do? You make a photo <laughs> album? Yeah. You, I don't know. You, you say that you, you have them? them and they can hang Wait, everyone says basement? the same thing on the back? They all say the same thing on the back. Yeah. Really? They oh. do. It's just yeah. a cheap thing. Come on. 
Art is what you Fact. can get away with. Are they too Andy stuck Warhol, together? It would be nice. You're right. You it see? would be nice if they were all they separate. Kind of stick together. Yeah. Different, different yeah, quotes. Yeah, but Every file I like has that a photo name, though. which is different. <laughs> Polaroid series. Are, is there any other no. artist? Is there any no. other thing? Is it just this and that? This is, is it. Another Warhol we can't artist. Do, no, but I'm saying like we can't do like Polaroid series of Ooh, a different artist or anything else. They might. They they're going to be releasing Basquiat Dunnies. For the first See, time this so year. What about a Polaroid yeah. series there? There's they gotta might. Be they might. That they took too, you know, like other artists. Yeah, but Warhol was known for making right. taking Polaroids. I'm just Polaroid series sounds like it's a series, and you're gonna have more of them. So this is not shelf worthy. Stop <laughs> it! I don't know, why are you wasting tonight's episode? Oh, Crap. I'm not wasting anything. Can we? Come on. <laughs> All right. Hey, All how right. about this well, girl? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay. Maybe you can tell us. Jack, I, I don't know. Here's a little bit of up. happiness. I think. Here, let's open these some happiness. These are cute and happy. Oh. Let's these are fluffy house toys. I don't like happiness. Here, right. let's open these. I already love this. Look at this little I, happy character. I can't. Why you can't? Oh, you have a thumb. Oh. I got it. You can do it. Come on. Jack, Jack, what are these? Uh, <laughs> you asked me that off, this is awesome. off screen, and I said, they're fluffy I'm house toys. They're super kawaii cute toys made from... By Fluffy House in Hong Kong. So, okay. So there's no real artist behind them. They, I believe there are like designers, but I don't know their names. Oh, there we go. Um, Look at this little guy. This is cool. I've heard they're really nice people, the people who design them. They mean a lot. Ooh. You know, there's a lot going on. Yeah. This, yeah. this is nice. Yeah. So here's here's the thing. See, to me, this is like like a desk worthy because you can yes. like, you're typing and you're like holding it's it. It's nice and to you're hold. on the phone. You're like, you know, you play with it. toy. This these is a play with toy. These are really fun toys. These They're very one. well made. The paint is excellent on them. Now, here's the thing. Because oh, they're coming the from Hong Kong and because they are limited in the numbers and a little bit harder to get here in the US, MSRP. they range <laughs> anywhere between like 25 to $40. <laughs> like, like this little set right here, these two little bears, oh, are 32 bucks. This is 42. Yeah. Good night. So the dinosaur is 42. These are 32. Uh, you lost So me. you did? You got, you're done? I'm gone. Uh-oh. Come back, Jack. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that happens <laughs> with I'll never let toys go. designed for an <laughs> Asian audience where the, you know, once you factor in the wholesale is like 60, 40, or sometimes 70, 30. I don't know what yeah. it is on this one. And then you factor in having to airship them or whatever, it gets really expensive. Oh, so good. I think you just said this. Are these characters people know? Is this like a popular series of I don't think so. They just made these up? Yeah. Yeah, it's a collection of a universe of characters they made. OK. And they've done it before with like, um, what was the tree boy who made that? Tree boy. Booby Ayun? Yeah, bo uh, what? Booby Ayun? B U B I A U. B I B I B I B I B I B I Okay, uh, so. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> B B What's going on? So there was another, there was another <laughs> set of toys. That's the title of this called episode. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What the hell's happening here? <laughs> oh my goodness. There oh was oh like. God. <laughs> there was like, what were they called? Tree, tree, tree thing? Tree? Yeah, well, Tree Sun, and they did. Tree Sun. these up there. They did. Uh, she did a collaboration with them. Oh, okay. And they were really cute, and they were like these like prickly white characters, and they made them small, and they made them big, and they made them like keychains. And like, whenever they made them, no matter what the price was, even yeah. if there was like a small one for like $25, Gone. they would sell out. Gotcha, gotcha. And this so, is this is kind of filling. That void. Moving I really right like along. this. I think this is great. I just go on record and say it, this is great. So that's shelf worthy that's for you. For me, I love this thing. And it's cool that it, I like it. Just you feels can pull so the heart out and it fits yeah, in there nicely. I love how this heart feels soft. Like it feels. The color nice. is nice too. Look at the sheen. It's very pleasing. The whole thing. They have different different it just, versions. It does of make you happy. Right? They do. Yeah. There's yeah. a black and yeah. yeah. So that's 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 shelf worthy for me. I don't know about you guys. What about you? It's expensive. Came with this. Let's not roll this out. Oh, and it came with this one. Never mind. I think that one just came with the heart. I mean, I, okay. I would have to really push and stress <laughs> to make that. Shelf nah, it's nah. Fair. It's fair. It may not be shelf worthy, but it's right here worthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but Perfect. you, but you think the price point is okay and everything? If you're into this kind of stuff, yeah. You know, it's not for everybody. Yeah, huh. I like it. I'm for everybody. I mean, it's keep done well. It's for everybody. Okay, so I what is that? Me. Let's let's talk about that <laughs> yeah, for what a minute. Is that? Okay. That looks like. Look, chill out. First of all, chill out. Second, okay. 
So I used to live in Pittsburgh and I used to own a store. And on my 30th birthday. Wait, you used to live in Pittsburgh? Yeah. I, I said that earlier with the world. Yeah. I know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm from Pittsburgh. That's how he treats all the guests. And I'm I, sorry. Oh, okay. We, gotta, we still have to. <laughs> I'm leaving. I opened a store on my 30th birthday and as a president of myself, I wanted to make a custom Mad Ball. Because I love Mad Balls from the 80s. Remember Mad Balls? Like yeah. Okay. For sure. They never made a hockey pit player. So originally I drew all these drawings of like a puck, but the puck looks stupid, right? Uh -huh. So it evolved to this hockey player person. I like how you can see it, but no one else. So <laughs> the guy, turn around. They're seeing it right now. So the guy, you know, he's, he's eating a puck. He's basically a hockey player, has my logo on the front, has a nice helmet. I didn't make this, I did all the drawings and I had this this, this guy make it for me, like a special effects sculptor. This is all foam. It is, yeah. the, the, eyes are, the eyes are like, they're real nice. What is that, resin? I brought it because I didn't have much to bring, so I brought it. Dude, this is great. It's really yeah. nice. Have you ever thought about like getting it actually produced? Yeah, I have. That's like as an official? You. Yeah, remember I spoke to you last week about that. Oh. <laughs> now I that is remember. putting somebody on the spot. <laughs> hey -o. It'd be cool, though. They never made a hockey player, to my knowledge. They had like the football, the basketball, the baseball. The yeah, they didn't make hockey. The football was the pig. No, no, you're thinking of something else. They had a, just a, a football with like a... Like kind of like Did we do the, mad balls the warplane. Was it was a pig. I Those are just yeah. the monster balls. Oh. They literally had like a football, a basketball, and baseball. Those are the first three, I think. Wow. Then they did more. Like Kid Robot has a bunch of just balls that are shaped like monsters, and that's right. where you get like the characters they made, like the staple characters. But they had a football, basketball, baseball. Too. This is great, man. Yeah, thanks. that's awesome. Well, I didn't build it. I just drew it. But thanks. But it should be reproduced. That's it's amazing. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, they cool. never, they never had an hockey player. So there it is. Right. Next topic. And you're not, you're not even selling that thing. It's just mine. I just, it's my own thing. I got it made for my 30th birthday as a gift to myself, so. Damn. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I it's love it. It's pretty cool, man. Well, I guess that's about it. Shelf worthy. Yeah. Throw it up there. <laughs> just kidding. If totally it is, it stays there all month. You're going to have oh, to come shit. back and pick it up. That's fine. I'll, I'll come get it. Ooh. Shelf worthy? Shelf worthy? Shelf worthy? Sure. Why not? All right. Shelf worthy! What's going on? All right. What's all right. going on? <laughs> <laughs> What did I get myself into? No, it's fine. You can, you can borrow it. Um, All right. So I think so that we're up there. almost out of time. I think we're done. Yeah, yeah we're oh, yeah. Okay. We that did it. Quick. We did it, fellas. We yeah. did. We Dang. did. Um, that was it. Uh, um, oh, you know what? Huh? People were asking if they can send us things. Yes. For really? review. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, anyone can send us anything, no matter how uh, famous of an artist you are or if you just made your first toy or your first costume or your first whatever like just send us what you want us to review if possible send four so we everyone can get one mm. uh, but the address is there and on the show notes and so yeah just send us stuff to review we'll look at it if it's shelf worthy we'll put it up there if it's not We'll throw it at Kevin's head, <laughs> and uh, that's it. But we'll put it on the show. And remember to watch this and share it and like it and spread the word and spread the love. Yes, yes. Don't please. forget the waffle. <laughs> yes, don't forget, don't forget the waffle. The waffle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That should be pretty big. I mean, big waffle. You know, breakfast yeah. slam. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. We'll see how many people waffle it out with us. <laughs> So, thank you, Matt, for being hey, on the thank show. You. Thank, thank you very you much, so much. Thank Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for sharing. Will you uh, have some time to do a little sketch for us, man? I can't get out of this chair. You're blocking me in. I might as well. <laughs> well I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> but but appreciate you you bringing down the yeah. uh, mono one. We have to make sure that we walk you out with security so nobody oh, yeah. mugs yeah, you yeah. on the I way out for that. Me. Frank Zilla is here, so we're good. Yeah. Very nice. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week for another. Episode of Toy Geeks. Ta-da! Toy Geeks, signing out. See you guys. <laughs>